Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, we are back. Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Happy New Year to all of you. First video of the year 2021. That bloody 2020 is all behind us. So now we can look forward. My guest today, you have probably seen it in the intro, is Oracle Sophia. Welcome. Thank you. You have your own channel, so you guys, you know, make sure you find her because she does her own videos, right? So, as always, we start with the overall energy for the week ahead. We're looking at the week of the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. Before we go into the star signs, we're still in the star sign of Capricorn. It changes on the 21st, if I'm not mistaken, which means next week also starts with Capricorn. <laughs> it's just information. Um, so unfortunately, uh, Aquarius needs to wait a while uh, until you're number one. So are you ready? Here we go. Let's look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Wow. Lucky us. Remember, the overall energy is the energy that the week has, which means that it applies to all star signs and to anyone and everybody uh, watching this. And we have the eagle. And how this works is that every animal that is in these decks is called a deity. And then we have the animal deities card, which means all the energies that are here, 76 energies in one deck, are here. So they're saying is this is a week for all of us where we are super, super, super protected. And the eagle is, this is a week, this is the message for us, for all of us. This is the week where you have to realize that when you, when you see things, you see them the way you are. You know when anything is off, you know when you feel like this isn't sound, this doesn't sound right. Trust your intuition, your intuition will not lie to you. And because we have the eagle, the message is normally, that's what the eagle does, he says, sees his food a mile away. <laughs> but we're not talking about food because I'm, you know, Christmas cake. <laughs> no, I'm not even going there. <laughs> so the message for all of us is to realize there will be no surprises if you pay attention this week. And whatever life throws at you this week, you have all the animal guides, all the deities around you, which means you will be strong enough to talk about things. You will be strong enough to change things and or begin to change things, which is really, really good. So that's a really awesome start to the new year. Um, normally it will be reflected in the star signs. The other things th think that, that you will all know if you watch um, regularly is that we have overlapping energy. You might find, are they still with Capricorn when I, when I do the next star sign? It's because we have overlapping energy. Some of the energies that we're having are partly in other star signs. Do not make the mistakes to think, oh, I'm Capricorn this week. No, you're not. If you're not a star sign, you're only that one star sign. That does not mean that certain parts of a message fit. But if you're not that star sign, that's why we do the over energy. If you're not that star sign, this isn't for you, right? And yes, people are maybe in the ascendant of another star sign, which means you're partly related to that star sign, you are not two star signs. You were born in a body, right? That's the, that's the downside. <laughs> we're spiritual people, no. You know, we're spiritual people inside a body that have a body, right? So that's a bit of a downside. Again, you know, you know, having to go to the loo, having to shave, having to do all these stupid things, eat. You know, wouldn't it be awesome if you didn't have to do that kind of thing? <laughs> so just be aware, we always have overlapping energy and I have had messages from viewers saying it confuses me. That's the reason why I put the star signs in the video. Please don't make the mistake to think just because you feel that fits your situation, you're that star sign, right? Just want to say that because my feeling is this might come up, right? So we have a really, really great start to 2021, which is awesome. And now we go into the first star sign um, of the week. So January, January um, 4th to the 10th, here is Capricorn for you. So Capricorn, you have to focus on your throat chakra, focus on talking, speaking what you want, because I'm feeling like there's been an energy of kind of holding back and not really saying the things that you need to say. You need to start really saying this thing so you can move forward in your journey, because when you're wondering what's stopping you, what's blocking your blessings, it's your own 
inability to speak properly and clearly what it is that you want. So your blessings can only come through when you start to speak and feel and work through, through your own throat. You can't always expect other people to just know what you want. You have to be very clear on that. And the energy for you coming into this year is being clear, setting your intentions, speaking them, and telling other people what you expect them to do in your life. Don't just expect them to understand. If you do that and you speak clearly and fairly and properly, you'll be able to move forward and you'll see your blessings open up and unlock. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was Capricorn going into Aquarius. I know there's a song, this is the age of Aquarius, <laughs> but I will spare you because there's no other songs for other stuff, so otherwise I would probably sing them all. <laughs> We're going into Aquarius now. Um, and, and, and I mentioned earlier that we have overlapping energies. I, I drop cards all the time. <laughs> right? I, uh, I mentioned that we have overlapping energy. And <clears throat> the message for Capricorn about speaking clearly um, also makes sense for Aquarius, but the difference would be, now that we're with Aquarius, is that in your case, my feeling is that you're really speaking properly and people don't necessarily like that. Right? And it's important this week to have boundaries. Right? You choose how much time and space you give to situations or people. You put boundaries in. Boundaries also mean, if you say, like, you know, I've been talking about this with you or to you for the last 15 years, <clears throat> for instance, and we're not coming to a solution here, I think I'm going to take some time out. Right? So it's really important for Aquarius, Aquarians, I think it's called, um, to um, have boundaries this, this week. And here's the reason why you need boundaries, because you have the, the dancer of reconciliation. Dancer, or dancing means, to a certain extent it means pussyfooting. You're, you're moving and you're not in one place, you're in different places, which means again, over energy, you know, adapting uh, the situations and kind of stuff. Um, it's all good, but what they're saying is because you are in the process of reconciling, the question is, what am I, what am I making peace with? What you're making peace with this week, first week of January, or second week of January, everyone will call it this week of January. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even sure, it's like a week and a half kind of thing <laughs> in there. You're making peace with your ability to have boundaries and say, like, you know what, I deserve that. And as I often say in the videos, that it's not ego, but sometimes, or oftentimes, especially for Aquarius, because the, the energy of Aquarians is always that you're very kind. And kindness sometimes is being abused. So really, really important to realize what you're making peace with is to say, like, that I'm not having it, right? Without necessarily um, letting people go, right? <clears throat> but the feeling is to realize this is a week where I understand and appreciate that I'm making peace. With, with learning to put people in their, in their place and boundaries. Also, from boundaries, you can still communicate to people, but they're not in your energy, they're not in your space. Nobody has the right to sort of enter your aura, right, while you're trying to clearly communicate, and only you can be that person to tell them off. Not everybody is a bad person, but if you give, people take, they become opportunists. So it makes sense. They don't even know that they're, that they're invading your, your, your space or your aura uh, because you never said anything. And this week, 4th to the 10th of January 2021 for Aquarius, this is the week where, where the universe is saying to you or the guys are saying to you is put people in boundaries and then learn to breathe because all of a sudden you have all that space. And my feeling is, because it's also important for you to realize this, since you have the dancer of reconciliation, this is not going to be a week where there will be massive arguments. Should there be massive arguments, don't have them. Right? This is not the week where you're really strong enough to argue. Arguing is, is most of the time a waste of time anyway, because once people get irate or loud, nobody listens. Right? But um, the feeling that I'm getting for Aquarius before, we, before we're moving on, is for you to realize it is time that you're proud, proud of yourself by saying like, yeah, I just told someone off, which seems to be a massive feat for Aquarius. And remember, you're not aggressive, so do it firmly, but there's no need to be, to be loud. Should you feel with this person 
they don't get it or with this situation they don't get it and I need more energy and more loud and they need to be louder then maybe that's not the place where you should be right that was Aquarius moving into my favorite star sign my own Pisces <laughs> here we go <laughs> For Pisces, I'm getting um, focusing on the third eye, focusing on trusting what you see, focus on what comes clearly to you. That is the correct thing. Don't oh, don't question yourself so much. When things are supposed to um, be right for you, you'll see them, and I've been mean, shown that you will be guided so clearly if you just step away from other people's energy for a bit sometimes just take some time to yourself focus within and then and then see through your own vision because sometimes i'm feeling there's a feeling of being allowing others to cloud your vision allowing others to get in the way or their ideas to take away what you think and if you do that then it stops you being able to see what you need yourself and then you're focusing on other people's needs too much. So what is your needs? And when you know that, and when you start focusing on your own joy, on your own happiness, what brings you happiness, then you start to see things so much more clearly. So I think clarity is a word that's just come to me. Clarity is important for Pisces and this week, being um, clear on where you're at, what you want and who you are. Um, because I feel like there's been a time where that's been a bit misty. Because you, people always say oh, Pisces like to go with the flow. But sometimes Pisces don't want to go with everyone else's flow. They, they have got their own flow. And people assume that. So they just think they can flow them along. And that's not where you want to be right now. Where you want to be is very clear on your vision. What you want for your future. Your joy. So that nobody else can then interrupt your flow. You and you create the flow and then that will um, bring you towards what is the right blessings for you again blessings yes but it's that don't let other people get in the way of your vision for yourself because you have very clear ideas on where you want to be and what you want from 2021 now this is the time now then to be in your own personal flow and let others have their own space <laughs> yeah cool that's good. I, I like this. <laughs> you know, as Pisces, obviously, I listen intently. Mm -hmm. And it, it, that's, that's perfect. Thank you. So that was Pisces. Pisces going into Aries. Let's just see what we got. For Aries. Okay. This is conflicting in the way it is presented by the guides. But it is not meant to be conflicting, this is just a statement. What you have is what is, what is called the shaman of song and the spirit of challenge. Which means already the year has only just begun and for Aries it's time to meet issues head on. Right? There is a spirit of challenge, that's not the spirit of destruction, that's not the spirit of anger or frustration, because frustration is a really bad teacher. This is the spirit of challenge, realizing that challenging times are ahead, there, needs, there are things that need to be talked about, there are things that need to be shifted, that's the feeling that the guides give me, and that's why before you have the spirit of challenge, you have the shaman of song, and the message is to be lighthearted. What I always say to people that say, oh, I'm having all these problems and I just can't find a shift, it's important to actually get out of everything for a bit. And here's a really simple thing. It's not a trick. It's just a simple thing that tells your brain, you know, that you can create your own reality. This is what I always say to people. Think about a song that you were listening to when you had no care in the world. Right? So, in my case, I was born in 67, so I'm an 80s child. At least I can listen to good music. <laughs> Not judgmental, aren't I? <laughs> right? What I'm saying is, so that's the idea. You go back to, um, to a song you listened to when you had no care in the world. Play it on repeat and allow yourself to bump about. And then when you feel like, wow, that whole energy of that song, um, even probably, probably the memories of having, of having no care in the world, which is... The, the gift that youth has. You know, there's a, an Irish poet who once said, youth is wasted on the young. And maybe it is true, you know. Uh, but what the guides are saying is you can relive it. And they're not asking you to relive it for three days. What they're saying is you feel like, whoa, I, I want to settle this. I want to 
shift this. I want to talk about it, but I can't quite find a way in. Then first step back, allow yourself to be carefree, right? Dance about. A lot of people have stopped being young, if that makes sense, even when they're still young. A lot of people have stopped this because there's so many things going on in their life and they have so much responsibility. There's nothing wrong with listening to your songs and um, having a good time. It doesn't matter if anyone else understands, right? So that's the message for you. Um, create a space of, yeah, almost like weird, weird term, bounciness. We feel like, yeah, it feels good. I feel good. Needle, needle, needle. Right? Just be really silly kind of thing. And then we're like, okay, now I have the space. I have made the space. Because what that does is it gives you higher energy. And with that higher energy, you will be able to communicate much clearer because you only meet people on your energy. If you go into a meeting or a situation anxious, everybody else you meet will be anxious. So don't underestimate having fun because you have the spirit of, challenging, of challenge in your week. So at some stage in this week, January the 4th to the, to the 10th, there might very likely will be situations where the guides say, don't, don't run away, don't be super kind and not talk about it. Hire your energy, you have the shaman of song, hire your, your energy, and then meet it head on with a smile on your face. Because you can still talk about really serious things without having and, or needing that feeling of in order for, for them to listen to me, I have to be serious, right? That's their perception. Okay, that was Aries going into Taurus. Okay, Taurus, um, feeling very positive. Um, got the um, root chakra with renewal, so it feels like Taurus, you're going through a time where you, you've done some, um, maybe some work on your routine, on your, um, maybe in a child work, something where you, you've, done, you've been working on some, um, healing within yourself to get to where you are now which is a place of where almost like a spring feeling like is everything's coming back to life for you you've gone through a bit of stagnation and now you go coming into a renewed time and the what's beautiful about that is that you're going to be able to use that energy to be be the light for other people to show other people how you did it because there was a time when you were when you were feeling not so not so flowy <laughs> mm -hmm. a bit like um blocked but you worked on it this is what it's feeling like you've worked on it and now is this time of renewal almost coming out in the sun um and being the sun being the light being that shine like the the creative energy of the sun the um renewing their energy of the sun the building energy that um like everyone felt like we've kind of not had all that this year past but you can create it within yourself so you create the sunshine within yourself and, and let it out don't always look for other people to be the light or be the sunshine or or the sun to be out you can create that energy yourself just by keep doing what you're doing keep building yourself up Keep working on yourself because it's working. And now's your time coming up where you can show others how to do it too. So now you become the sun and you don't you don't have to look for it externally because it is you. So this is a very empowering time for Taurus, I feel. And I feel like very light, creative. If you have got creative ideas, use them. If you've got ideas for some type of um, business you'd like to do, really start to shine a light on the areas of it. Shining the light's great also for any shadow work you've had to do because any it brings light onto what is a shadow and brings it out of the shadow and it's worked on and it's fine. So I'll just yeah leave you with be the light. Thank you. I'm gonna translate this for my sister who lives in Franklin and is Taurus. She's gonna <laughs> love this. <laughs> she really will. Right. So going from Taurus into Gemini, like I said, we're looking at the week of January the the, the fourth to the tenth. I remember saying that we will be back um, in the second week or for the second week of January. That shows you how much I can be trusted. <laughs> so we're back a week early. So please share this, right? Far and wide so that people don't miss out. <clears throat> Gemini, you have the shaman of reflections and the hunter of gifts. 
what that means is you're still in a space where you can't really act if you would act on opportunities that doesn't mean you can't act on them but you will still need to reflect where you are at emotionally it's not about anything else for for gemini where am i at emotionally am i feeling strong enough for this opportunity to be met by me right because you have the hunter of gifts and that's just a weird term but it just means like that your your soul for want of a better word is still looking for its place and one thing that would be a mistake to to ask is what's my purpose because even though this is a valid question your guides will only show you what you're thriving at or would thrive at with the energy you have right you already know right now because that's where what i get in for gemini all gemini all the time what you really are is healers you may not do it for a living but everything you do or don't do is a teaching so energetically speaking gemini is as a as a star sign you are very much a, a, a teacher and a healer so spiritually speaking that's going to be the first thing the guides would say to you anyway if that makes sense but because you have the shame of reflections you would probably see like wow i'm not sure i'm there yet and sometimes you do not have to have this massive awakening it's just realizing what i'm doing right now does it bring me real joy is it really who i am and what if the spiritual part of me that i haven't developed for the outside world yet what if i develop this for the outside world and instead of asking is that what i what i'm supposed to do because the guides you have free will they can't tell you what you're supposed to do but look at it logically if it gives you joy and if you feel like wow the messages that i'm getting for others help them then obviously that's what you came here to do so my to cut a long story short my feeling is that you have to simplify your thinking um and my feeling is that sometimes you feel like i want to i want to get this done i want to have a different life and all the guides are saying is this is not the week to rush it but you have the hunter of gifts which means new ideas new opportunities will come to you and very likely you can look at them all right that doesn't mean you will be able to do all or or have the energy to do all because who has right but look at at more than one thing if more than one thing comes to you right without asking your best friend what do you think could i do this because this is about gemini realizing as nice as it is to have a nice a, a good friend who knows you well it is important that you trust your own strengths because you got that strength this strength is in you and i guarantee you one thing even though i don't know any, any gemini of of heart you know none of my friends like i could tell if they're gemini or not but what i'm getting is if you asked your friends what they think of you maybe 90% of them would say like you know i think you're one of the deepest people i've ever met and you're a really good friend and your your advice makes sense because you are a healer there's no two ways about it gemini's are healers by default it's always the same you know when the guides say it like this a lot of people in this lifetime will not go down that road but remember everything you do or don't do is a teaching mm. right so do it to the highest good even if you feel nothing comes back to you but trust yourself biggest mistake is a tough word but biggest mistake this week would be to ask others what they think of you because others advise you from their point of view even if they know you well they might not fully understand what you're capable of so you have to learn that yourself right that was gemini wasn't short and sweet <laughs> and i also noticed that the guys leave this a little bit wake because that's part of it people want answers mm. and it doesn't work that way no one said like well you know unless it's a cul de sac and there's only one one parking space you know i mean they're talking not talking about normal life here um <laughs> it doesn't work that way you know you will be shown situations and scenarios so you can go like yeah that's how i feel right now mm. and i trust this and this is the main message for gemini you have to start trusting yourself and your intuition and also as she has noticed there was not one word of negativity here not one word of warning don't do this don't do this be careful nothing because the guides know you can pull off whatever it is you want to pull off so go and pull it off if that makes sense but go slow don't rush anything right if that makes sense you will be fine okay gemini that was gemini now we're going into cancerians cancer 
Star sign that I love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, is um, you, what is your star sign? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, okay. Yeah. So, um, the first, the card that I got for um, Cancer's the Oracle, <laughs> wait for important information. So, the, that gives me a feeling that there is something there's something that you will want to know this week, what's going to, so information that will come to you, but I don't feel like it's like a letter or something. I think this is about you waiting to kind of get a, a, a grasp on something about yourself, about something about your own journey, because I've got the self-worth card of it as well. So that means that you have to look beyond your feelings and look beyond your emotions and actually get into your confidence because then the answers will come to you but until you swerve away from kind of like I'm feeling like an emotional sway and then a block a sway and then a block step back step back and it will all come to you um what do I want to say I feel like it's, it's, you, you're on a path and you've got a journey ahead of you, but because you are kind of caught up in your own little world somehow, you're not getting the flow that you want. You're not getting the, the ideas to come through. So the information that you want, that you're getting frustrated, oh, it's, it's trying to come to you in dreams. It's trying to come to you through words that your guides are trying to say to you. Then they get other people to try and say it to you. But there's somehow that you're kind of not hearing. But it's there. Everything you need is there. It's not hidden. It's there. But it's, it's so it's your own blocking it. So actually, by, basically what I'm saying is, you have everything you need, but you need to see that. Maybe just change your perspective. Maybe do like the hangman in the tarot and just see your life from a different angle. Then you'll just see the information. You'll see what it is you've been looking for, that you've been asking other people for, that you've probably gone to maybe a reader for, and you've gone to this and you feel like you're not here. But everyone's told you it, but you just need to put the... Let the magnets come together to stop putting something in the way of the magnets. <laughs> yeah. That was a very random one, I feel like. But well, it's like... To, to me, it feels like... Um, I know a couple of Cancerians. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they have... They're nice people, but they have a self-defeat button. Mm -hmm. And this is just my experience with, with, mm -hmm. with Cancer. No offence. <laughs> but this is just my experience with, with Cancerians. And sometimes when this button is pressed, it takes a while for them to... Yes. It's like a button that is sort of stuck and it comes out eventually. Yes. I think <clears throat> so. That's the first thing that, I, that that came to me when you when you started talking because most Cancerians, you know, they're, they're actually nice people. They're, they're people just they're just they're just yeah yeah. <laughs> but we all have we all have different sides to ourselves, yeah. so, right? <laughs> so thank you so much. Okay, this may sound a bit weird because you mentioned Sagittarius is your star sign. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but normally I I like to hear the messages from someone else. It's yeah, probably easier. Definitely. So if we keep on going. You, me, you, me, you, me, you will do Sagittarius. So if you now do Leo, I can do Virgo, and awesome. Libra, I can do Scorpio, and Caesar. So you, I would be Leo, right? Yeah. You would be Virgo, I would be Libra, I would be Scorpio. You know, that's me, that's you, that's me, that's you, that's me. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So if if we go, I do Leo, you do Virgo, and you will do. So, yeah. Right? So, so, kind of long story short, you can see. Mr. Dickhead is here. <laughs> <laughs> because we just had to keep going. I just didn't figure it out. I just want to make sure that, that, that yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a bit funny to Yeah, then. okay. So, sorry about that. We just keep on going as we meant to go on. <laughs> and now we're in Libra. Uh, sorry, in Leo. Here we go. Leos. My son is Leo. My older sister. And, my, and his mother is, is Leo, right? <laughs> and my brother is Leo. So, um, wow. and they're, they're all German, and uh, none of them will be watching. <laughs> but it's not important. The other, we had a conversation here, and I have conversations with lots of people about the readings that we do. We're not doing them necessarily for people we know. We are just working here. That's what the, what the term medium actually means, the man or the person in the middle. So we're doing it for, for whatever Leo is watching and hopefully connect. Um, and somehow, because I, I, I mentioned these three, um, this will be one of those rare weeks where I probably tell them 
what was in this week's reading yes. if that makes sense you know so for leos you have the spirit of truth and the journey what that means is you're coming out of sounds wrong but it's the way the guides make me feel you're coming out of a of a, of a rough time you're almost like coming out of a hole and it feels it's not a hole that that you necessarily dug for yourself it was a hole that time and opportunities dug for you um, the lack of opportunities made you feel nothing is working so you went deeper and deeper now you have the spirit of truth which means you're realizing that away front forward is the direction to go and you finally get that if that makes sense so you're coming out of this hole so what the guys are saying to you you have the spirit of truth trust it will come to you because you have the journey here, which means if you're looking for a quick fix or you say like oh my god they, they promised me they answered this by the 5th of january um unlikely that you get like cling thank you that's what i'm gonna do right if that's what you manifested i wish for wish for you to that, that this comes through but you have the journey here. no matter what you're coming out of because you're starting going again it will be a journey so let it be a journey if the journey should be a little longer let it be longer try not to think along the lines of i haven't had a really good year so this year must be awesome right because there's no must you can't control it all you can control is your energy and if your energy is higher it will be better anyway all the guys are saying is don't make your happiness um dependent on whether or not you get quick i get the word quick fix quick fixes quick quick yeah that you can do this and then so it gets you out of the yeah fine I'm, I'm back kind of thing because you weren't lost exactly you just were put on hold if that makes sense right well they're, they're showing this to me as if you call someone you know this this really silly thing you call is important to us <laughs> and then 20 minutes later they tell you 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 call a number five what you <laughs> 20 minutes that's how i feel life was especially november december for a lot of leos and all the guys are saying is don't think you're still in the queue right you can put the phone down you are going forward don't wait for something that comes to you externally just remember you keep going forward and allow this to be a journey what that also means is if you feel i need to know if this works it doesn't work that way no matter what you do in life yes you have a really good six cents and you probably know on the outset if this is right for you but oftentimes anytime you want to get to know a situation or people you have to put the time in there's no two ways about it and if you go in there trying to protect yourself then you're wearing a mask which means nobody can read you and you will not be able to read them because they don't they they, they can't be themselves either it's a mirror so what the guys are saying is let it all go forward Decide, yes, all going going good because it will be a journey is always interesting so have an interesting journey please don't rush anything and don't go back that's another important message for leos don't go back into thinking the things that didn't work in 2020 who knows whose fault it was let me rekindle don't it hasn't worked for a reason it's always back always easier to go back because you go back to what you know yeah right yeah, and, and 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 every now and then it's good to give second chances and uh, I, I don't feel this for leos so but so if there's someone saying like i want the girl back you have free will just don't shoot the messenger where it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> right? it's just that how it feels to me right? so leos please 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 remember you're on a journey allow the journey to happen and be patient that's the other important thing right that was leo going into virgo so now um um yeah virgo yeah so virgo i'm feeling a kind of that like you've came just come out of a, a shadow period like a bit of a dark night of the soul type of held yourself back but there's a like an almost defensive thing with that you're finally coming back into your rhythm like the change of the year has give you like a, a distinct like so i'm cutting off 2020 there and i'm starting my 2021 and i'm feeling like i feel like that's very much the virgo energy like you can make that decision like i am that's that done like so i'm in a new diary so that does that bit doesn't matter now 
but it feels like that's good for you because that's needed because we've got the high priestess here and it says harness mystic power and the chakra card is actually the crown chakra so i feel like this could be a very spiritual time for you a time for you to really get into your higher self a time for you to really connect with higher powers because you've kind of held yourself back in that shadow period and um, been quite spiky and a bit like um unattainable i suppose is the right word like there's been a kind of closed off behind your own door that's the feeling but now you've kind of opened the door a crack you feel it feeling safe because you can control the variables and it's making you be able to connect in more and start to feel yourself again but just know that you're safe to do that you're safe because it, this the energy is right for that for that type of level of connection you've done all the other work before you you you've dipped your toes into a, like a sense of a spiritual journey before and kind of step back because where it feels like you can't control it but you can and you've got the power to do that so do that now because it's like the um guy the guides are trying to say that your en energy could work well now with helping towards this kind of um, shift in time, the shift for humanity, the shift for the collective. Because of you, your ability to be quite logical, yet spiritually powerful, the two things together by removing that sometimes overly emotional side of some signs, that can quite help this shift into this age of Aquarius because the age of Aquarius is an air sign, isn't it? Yes, air. So it's very much about thinking and communication and I feel like um, Virgos are really good at that. They're really good at that logical, putting things in its boxes so nothing, everything is a mix and match. So you, your energy will be very good for helping the collective move forward at this time. So like kind of come out of yourself a bit and allow yourself to be around other people and connected with other people and just just enjoy this higher power time because this is your time to um to really get into your spiritual strength. Okay. Excuse <coughs> me. <coughs> and you probably noticed I said that earlier that we have overlapping energy. So between Leo and Virgo, this feeling of being cut off for a while continued into into Virgo it's quite it's quite common um, I can't see the time from here but remember it recalls for 33 minutes and then it sort of there's a little gap so should we talk and then all of a sudden there's a, a 20 seconds missing absolutely nothing we can do right <laughs> I just I say it always happens and my feeling is it, it, it either must have happened or is, or is about to happen mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just um, conscious of the time right so that was Virgo going into Libra drawn to a different deck so, Librans, interesting, because what you're being asked in or on this for this week, uh, January the fourth to the tenth, twenty twenty one, is to surround yourself with beauty and positivity. My feeling is that they have they have this um, nectar and wampum. It's caught, right? And even though it is normally connected to um, handed down jewellery, I'm not necessarily getting this. And also I'm aware that not everybody who watches this automatically must have a grandmother or somewhere that has handed down jewellery for them. right? But as part of this is handed down jewellery. What they're saying to you is, sounds weird as a term, make yourself pretty. And that doesn't mean that you have to, you know, go out and, and, and you know, have a haircut. Good luck in tier four. <laughs> but, but, you know, so it's not about having all these changes. But, but whatever you need to do to make you feel awesome, that's what you need to do. And because they give me the, um, the necklace, it feels that it will be difficult for Librans this week to find it within. That's why they're saying is make yourself beautiful, right? Wear your favorite hoodie, right? Um... Wear a collar you haven't worn before. See what it does to you, right? Be a bit adventurous. That's what I'm getting a lot for, for Libra. And really, that's all they want to do is, is for you to choose. It's just the way the guys phrase it. Fall in love with yourself again. Um, my guides show me um, something that, I, that I've been doing in my, in my, um, my workshops <clears throat> back in the day. I have to say because it was 2020. Right? And that was when people have issues 
um, liking things about themselves, I asked them to take a to take a black and white selfie, and print it off. It number one, it's black and white. It's much easier on on, <laughs> on the face. That's a good thing. But it feels older. You have a black and white image of you. It feels like a, a time gone by. Yeah. And then you put that day, even if the if the the, the 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 selfie on paper would be a day old. You say good morning to yourself, and it feels like you're saying good morning to an older part of yourself. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to take a selfie and have to go to all the trouble, have it printed off, and and um, have it displayed somewhere. But it makes a big difference. It's not not good enough to 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 take it and then open the phone all the time because it's a different way of connecting. It needs to be in the room with you. But what the guides are saying to you is, that's the message for Leapens this week. Spend time with you, like yourself again, and say it. I like it. I like you. Right? I have a saying for the last 20 years. I wake up every morning and go, I'm awesome. Right? <laughs> Most of the time, Fitchy goes like, yeah, I, just, I just want my food. <laughs> and you don't say it with ego. You just say, I'm awesome. It cracks me up. Yeah. I mean, my energy is higher. No matter what life brings, it's much harder to get me down because I'm already yes. woke up with a smile. So it is <clears throat> psychology, really. That's what it is. And that's what the guys are saying to Libras this week. Use it on you because you have the snake. The snake is the animal of healing and protection. When you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane, right? It is the animal of healing and protection. You're fully protected this week. You don't have to argue with anyone. You don't even have to answer to anyone. I'm not sure why they're bringing this up, so it must be for some of you, right? Um, just really focus on yourself. Also, because I, I get that now, because they, they just made it sound as if there's some someone that someone answers to. The snake needs to shed its skin, right? So my feeling is, while you are looking at yourself and you like yourself again and maybe fall in love with you, it is or may be important because maybe out, outside situations have made you feel not welcome, have made you feel not worth anything and as you look at yourself like, yeah i am still cute as a button i am still a good person you know whatever it, it does yeah. to you um this is also the week where you start letting things go because with with libras this week it's nothing is going to be quick even if you close the door on someone and says like off you go close the door i will never see you again it wouldn't solve the thing because it sits inside you so and don't suffer in silence, if that makes sense. Mm. Just allow it to happen gradually, right? You've been in this thus far, right? So allow it to happen. But please, this is the, because that was the main uh, answer. It doesn't cost anything to put an extra light on that's a little bit brighter, right? And look at yourself and go like, yeah, I'm actually okay the way I am. It might not be the easiest, but it also doesn't cost a thing. Nobody needs to see it, right? But do it for yourself without without the, the risk of judgment, right? So, quite different to the rest of the mm -hmm. messages, I feel. <clears throat> but, um, you know, it's always one. <laughs> and you, you were just that star sign. So, we have um, two star signs left for this week. We have Scorpio and Sagittarius. I thought that we had to change it around. So, forget about when I said earlier, we have to do this this way. We could have just, we would have just kept going. I think this is all already meant to be that way. Here we go. <laughs> I learned that now. Don't try to control stuff because it's already, already in hand. Thank you. Okay, so we have Scorpio and Sagittarius. Now it's time for Scorpio. Before we do Scorpio, I don't know why the guys are bringing this up. Ah, this is weird. Okay. Star Trek, right? Live long and prosper. There is an episode of a thing called Star Trek Voyager where there's a Native American guy mm. and they have a problem on the ship with someone. And he says, I was told a story when I was a child and somehow this story is, this, this is a, sto a story about scorpions. I have no idea if this is actually relevant or not. It just feels to me, tell that story. It's a very mm. short story. The point is, the guy says a scorpion is on the lake wants, uh, uh, sorry, a wolf is on the lake, wants to cross, um, and is about to jump into the water. And the scorpion says, hey buddy, uh, I will never be able to get over there. Can you, can you get me there? And the wolf says, mm, I'm not so sure, because you will, you will sting me. And uh, the, the, the scorpion says, I wouldn't do that. If I, st if I sting you, we will both drown. 
So the wolf trusts him. The wolf swims over halfway through the, the swimming. The scorpion stings him. And the wolf says, Wow, wh what did you do that for? Now we both drown. And the scorpion says, It is in my nature. The message here is for scorpions. I don't know if this is reflected or not. And I'm sorry for, for cutting into no, your last one. It's just the way the guides give it to me. Don't defeat yourself. Don't, under no circumstances, be self-defeating. Because that's what I'm getting. That's what the scorpions just did. right? And saying, oh, it is in my nature, is the wrong thing to say. Because yes, it might be true that we cannot change our nature, but we can change a lot about who we are. Because mm. we are also, apart from what we came here with, we are a set of circumstances, we are a set of beliefs, we are a set of conditions and conditionings. And I think the story came in here yeah. um, because this is the feeling he didn't really mean to sting the wolf, but he couldn't help himself. But the story is not about that he couldn't help himself. The story is about him saying it's in my nature. So there was this feeling of I had to do it. And my feeling is this has to do with self-defeat and feeling I need to do this is expected of me. So I don't know if this will be reflected, but my feeling is to highlight yeah. that when people or situations expect things from you, it's their expectation. Doesn't mean a thing. Sorry for cutting in here. That's, that's what I'm getting. Finally, yes, Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Well, the, um, the chakra card is the heart chakra and it's wisdom. And I feel that the way that connects in is, is that Scorpios have to go into their heart space, start making choices from what you say, you're controlled, this is my mind, I'm controlled, but this, this is, like you say in the story, this is my nature, and they'll go into your heart space, does it feel right? The choice you're making, does it actually feel right? Not what logically you think you are, what does it feel like? Think from your heart, use your heart wisdom, drop your mind into your heart chakra, let your heart chakra wash it all up, and then connect with, actually, is it the right choice to be making? Start to see how it feels. Start to connect with maybe the person you're making the decision that regards them to. How would they feel? You know them, you know you. Start to feel. Don't just act. Don't just use impulse and, and just say, yeah, it's just how I am. Because that can't work. That won't, that is not the right energy for you to be using right now. And in this time now at the beginning of 2021 you're being called on to be a more of a feeling person and less of a kind of sometimes cold logic um get into the heart out of your head or uh, equally get out of your base desires as well that instinctual thing that kind of i'm just going to do it you need to get into your heart so it's i am also here in balance create balance because um, the other card I've got is a druid and it says hold the space so you've got to hold the space I feel for yourself you, sometimes you do things and you know that you're you know what the outcome's going to be and I feel like then that what happens is you will move on and, and shut the situation off to not face the, the action because you feel like you just did it but you've got to hold space for yourself now, hold space for your own healing, get into your heart and start making um, intentionally better choices, intentionally nicer, <laughs> nicer choices. Sorry, Scorpio, but literally it is nicer choices. And sometimes face what you, the choices you've made and make it better rather than just shutting it off like it didn't happen, because that's what you do. Start doing something different. Start being, you, you can change, you, you don't, you're not just, I'm like this and I'm like that for the whole life and I don't, no, this is a time that's calling on you to, to look in the mirror and see that you can change and it is okay to change and you can keep all the best parts of yourself, but just get a bit more heart centered and if you want you more heart centered, just start making choices that start to feel better for you ones that you won't have to regret so this week really try and just even meditate into that space um, imagine the green and just meditate into that space because that will be so helpful for you right now and for to, for creating a better 2021 
a more energetically lighter one than how you were feeling in 2020, which is quite heavy. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> Finally, we have come to the last star sign, your star sign. Let's have a look at Sagittarius. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Yeah, I hope really you're coming fun. back. As we say here, don't be a stranger. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you for doing this. Um, so let's have a look at Sagittarius, last star sign of the week. And it's the first time um, today that I'm drawn to a different deck. Here we go. Here we go. We have the Mule Deer, the Turtle and the Great Horned Owl. This is what it means. For Sagittarians. You need to realize if you are, if you continue being stressed, if you have to continue doing 10 things for 10 people, just because you probably think they're young, younger or not quite as capable, you, can, you, you cannot recharge your batteries if you keep going at the pace you're going at. That's what the guys are saying. You have the turtle, it sounds works as if they give me three cards instead of two. If the, then the, 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 the animal guide in the middle is the main one we focus on. The one in the middle is the turtle. And this means that if you were slower, nothing will happen because he still lives for 200 years. Right? Go slower. You teach people that things can have a different pace if they feel uh, you're wasting their time, maybe you should get up earlier. Right? This, this is what I'm getting, is, is to be... Have people say like, or, or, or tell people, it's your responsibility. Don't wake up 10 minutes before you have to go to school, for instance, and then rush me, right, to make you your breakfast or, 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 or you know, this is what I'm getting. So be slower, but remember, if you're not slowing down, you will not be able to charge your, your, your batteries. And this might not just be related to that family situation that the guys just showed me. <coughs> this is also related to, <clears throat> to anything else. Watch your own energy because you have the great horned owl. And the owl is an animal that can draw what is called an auditory map. She can hear the mouse in the undergrowth. So therefore she just gets the mouse without getting caught in the undergrowth. And in analogy, it means like once you slow down a little, you can hear and see what's going on because you stop to see it, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm getting for, for Sagittarius, and that's really all I'm getting for Sagittarius. The interesting thing is, um, because again, this to me feels the main message is for whoever is watching this, whatever Sagittarius is watching this, is to realize this in your home with the people you, you live with. So this may be less for people who are on their own, but this is just the guides, the guides give me. I get a scenario that I've had quite a lot um, in my readings, for instance. I have had clients and they say to me like, oh, you know, I'm a grandmother and, um, and when I have the grandkids, I can't even go to the loo. And you kind of go like, that's weird. So I say to them, this is the not so nice part language wise, what if you had the runs, right? What if you had the shits? What if you had the runs and you need to go to the toilet? When you come out five minutes later than normal, would they still be alive? Answer is yes, right? So you have the time. What you don't have to do is manifest the runs. What you need to teach is to see this, mug. Mug means me time. Simple. But the feeling is that's what because they're showing me this, which means you need, whoever, whoever this is really for, you need to have a visual cue as well, where they have been told, sounds a bit weird, once this is on the table, it's time out. It's also very shamanic. There's ways of calling your animal guides in shamanism. There's ways of physically telling people we're talking now. So there's different ways. And they're giving this to me because obviously I work with animal guides, right? So I'm not expecting you to go right, do weird movements. But my feeling is that people need to be aware because you're doing A, B is not going to happen. Or B is happening at your pace. So that's what I'm getting for Sagittarius. And also, what I'm getting is that you have tried this before. That's the other thing I'm getting, it's not a new thing. And um, you get frustrated because you can't seem, a way, seem to think or, or see a way out. And what the guys are saying is, if you stop doing what you're doing, they will all stop because nothing works without you. So that's how you teach it, right? Really, really important. And also, you're not the bad guy for saying to people, you know what? I'm not your personal slave, sounds horrible, but this is the feeling that, that I'm getting. And, you know, I'm the youngest, well, not anymore, 
you know, but, but in my family, I was the youngest. Guess who is the most spoiled person on the bloody planet? Me, right? Until recently, I had this oven that I bought for my Reiki money. Looked good, right? <laughs> I'm finally looking into using it. My, my girlfriend is a very understanding <laughs> lady. So, um, because I get, I get panic. If it doesn't change color, how, how can it be? When is it finished? <laughs> how do I know when it's finished? Right? So, <laughs> the point is, sometimes had I not been that, that spoiled, I would have functioned better now that I'm almost 54. Think of bloody hell. <laughs> but it doesn't mean you have to, everybody has to be perfect. What I'm saying is sometimes being kind to people, doing everything for them, does not prepare them for life. Mm. And I loved my mom, and I also loved that my mom would cook for me because I said, like, I don't like to eat this, and she would go, four kids, okay, I'm gonna make you something else. Would never happen in my life. <laughs> right? right? But my mom was like this, so I'm not gonna knock it. <laughs> right? It was awesome. But it also didn't help, right? So, don't know why, they, why, why, why I talk so much today, it's just the way it all comes in. But for Sagittarius or Sagittarians, please remember that you call the shots and you've just overridden. If you want to call the shots, just stop and tell them we're doing things differently. If you don't like it, tough luck. That's what I'm getting, right? <coughs> tough love. If that makes sense. <coughs> yeah, is it? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that's probably why, why why I had to read it kind of thing. Yeah? <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank right. you. Thank you for watching a week a, a week early. Right. We probably expect us to be back the second week. I will post this everywhere so you are aware that we are back. So we get you know because the idea is we are recording this all for free. Doesn't cost you a bloody thing. So all we're asking you to do is to please share it. Because the more people we can reach, the more people the guides can give messages to, the better this is. So please subscribe below on the YouTube channel and follow the, the Facebook page. I'm going to put it up here. The Facebook page. So I'll give you 10 seconds to look at it. <laughs> here we go. Nine, eight, seven. Okay, just messing. But you see it there? Right? Just follow that page. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.